All right, guys, order of movement for the afternoon. We are heading from Bluemont in Western Loudoun County down to uh, Brambleton area in Loudoun County to do some training with the Yellow Labrador. Good little dog. And uh, we need to stop by the post office, maybe run to the bank. We also might swing down through Sterling to see a uh, Doberman who I have on the schedule. I actually train tomorrow, but since we're already gonna be east and off the mountain, I might see if we can swing by and knock that out as All well. All right, guys, Ridgeside is located in Northern Virginia, Loudoun County, but uh, we live on the westernmost portion of Loudoun County in the little tiny town of Bluemont. And we love our little town, so we're passing right through the middle of it. There's not a stop sign. There's not even a traffic light in Bluemont. But we do have a post office. We're swinging through real quick. Put some mail in the mailbox. Got a little general store. It's like coming back a hundred years. One of the reasons why we love this place. You either like it or you hate it, but we like it. So we're gonna swing in the uh, Blue Mall Country Store here. Eastbound on good old Route 7, heading towards Middle Loudoun County to Ashburn. We're going down here to meet up with a pretty cool family, train a yellow lab. This lab is incredibly strong. It was an absolute, almost psychotic polar. When I first met him, he was literally pulling this lady across the parking lot at breakneck speed to get to my truck. So he came to Ridgeside, had about a four day, very quick, down and dirty imprintation on an e collar and e popo system, returned back to the owner and has been doing really, really well. We're doing an hour class right now just to touch up. He's a little distracted with me behind him, but he is walking, you know, fairly well. He's coming back to Ridgeside Canine for a two week boarding train where he's going to be really squared away and really start rocking so this is just basically maintenance training until the real training starts but from where he was to where he is is night and day so we're pretty happy with that and they're doing a fantastic job with him so kudos to the owner full commitment um awesome job guys we are running out of north or i guess you'll call it central ashburn or the broadlands area and we're heading south down into brambleton south ashburn to grab a yellow lab, throw them in the truck. And then we are gonna shoot down to Sterling, work with this Dolby for a little bit. And welcome to one part of Loudoun Valley Estates. We're going here to pick up a pup and do our thing. I've lived in the neighborhood many times in my life. I do prefer to live in the cabin on the mountain now. Um, but yeah, these neighborhoods are just, they just stack them in here, one after the other after the other. Beautiful houses, beautiful neighborhood, super nice people, great clients, but um, not my thing anymore, to say the least. And we're here, so we're going to be at this client's house in just a minute. We'll be getting back in the truck with a new dog here in just a second. All right, guys, second. we got Mr. Porter, my favorite yellow lab pup. There he is. And we are loading up. All right, guys, we're down here in Sterling, I'm going to train and work with this Doberman. Get about an hour lesson in and um, help this awesome family out with what they got All right. going on. He's perfect right there. Keep him just like that. But Mr. Niles, our young Doberman. He looks fantastic. Nice loose leash, a lot of slack, as much slack as possible. Make him decide where he wants to be. Perfect job. Do a turn left or right, doesn't matter. Just keep him with you. There you go, make him decide. Very nice. Let me know if you're on pressure or off pressure, okay? Just say on or off so I know. That's very nice. Pay that. We're back on Rich Side. We've done a lot today. Uh, trained some dogs, ran some errands all over Loudoun County. And we are back to the uh, outskirts now neighbors time to plow the field so we got to make one more pit stop to help a buddy of mine up on the mountain all right so this is literally going on with straight up this camera view probably doesn't do it justice but um maybe from the side you can see the angle a little bit better it's hard to say but uh we're gonna keep on climbing and keep on working our way up this mountain so we're actually right up behind my house right now believe it or not um I just want to throw a word of caution out there. If you come visit me, 
come check out Ridgeside, don't go exploring. <laughs> um, these back roads up behind my house, while I'm very friendly and I'm very open, if you come up here on these back roads behind the house, I cannot exactly uh, ensure your safety. Um, I can't ensure your vehicle won't get stuck. And I damn sure can't ensure that the people that live up here are going to appreciate you driving up here. Um, and then it could make a problem for me as well. You know, I have to deal with that. So, <clears throat> stay to my house. And don't explore too much. <laughs> stay on the main road. Leave it at that. And this is, believe it or not, a road. Um, <laughs> I know some of you are probably watching this like, what the hell? Hell no, I wouldn't live up there. But, you know, when you live here, you love it. So, it's what it is. And I absolutely feel safer up on these roads than I ever do going into the city to pick up dogs. Traffic no question jam with side it. by side. Did you see the bear is the question. I saw it. Uh, Mark had a mother uh, last year and four cubs under his fruit trees playing. Really? With the fruit. Did he get the good pictures of them? Standing on the hind legs, knocking it off, and the baby is rolling around the ground. He, he can That's see funny. hind legs. That's funny. Yeah. All right, Mr. Humphreys, let me go up here. Have a good evening, sir. See you, see you sir. All right, guys, we're riding there last spot. <clears throat> My buddy's place is his driveway. I'm not going to show his house right now, but... um. Rule number one, when you're coming to Richside to visit me, please don't go explore. Um, stay on the main roads. Don't go up on the mountain. Richside K9, the day is winding down. We had a lot of moving parts today, a lot of training. We're back at the facility right now. We got some new dogs on deck. We got some dogs out right now taking a break. Um, Porter, you went to sleep, buddy? So Porter was out. We have three dogs out playing right now, all of which get along really well. The tire bug, you played out. So Porter just came back today. We picked him up earlier. He has played out. And um, our little Mally girl's out doing her thing. She kind of runs the kennel. Oh, somebody's coming up fast behind me. Little Australian Shepherd on deck right now, hanging out and playing. Crazy boy. Probably one of the biggest Malinois we've ever had in here, hanging out. <laughs> and that's it, guys. Rishai K9, video log number two in the books, checking out. Follow us along if you like, give us some ideas. If you wanna see certain aspects of training, certain things we won't show, I won't video, but um, all aspects of most training we will video. And we have a lot coming. We have a lot of content right now, it's just a matter of me finding time to edit it, cut it, post it. This all takes a lot of time, time that I don't have. So, a lot coming, Rich Side K9.